Okay, so I have the uh, Loki Max here. And from the factory stock, it comes with three gigabytes of uh, RAM dedicated to um, VRAM. So some games, that's okay. But for some other larger games, three gigabytes isn't enough. Especially games like Ratchet & Clank, the new one that just came out from PS5. It, like, it doesn't run um properly with three gigabytes of um memory dedicated to vram so today we're going to go into the bios and increase it i have like just a little um wireless keyboard mouse thing here you're going to need that once we get into the bios so to get to the bios the easiest way is to go to your settings here go to your settings and on system on system you scroll down until you get to recovery click on recovery then you're going to go to advanced startup Restart now. It's going to take you to the advanced startup options, and this is going to help us get into the bio. So it's going to pretty much restart the device. It's going to go into these um, advanced startup options, and then we're going to be able to get into the bio. So just wait for this to restart. You don't have to press anything at this point. Just wait for it to restart. You see the logo. Don't have to press anything just yet. When it um, restarts, it's going to be in um, portrait orientation. So it may be a little confusing, but you can just go down to this troubleshoot option, then go down again to advanced options, and then all the way to the bottom to UEFI firmware settings, click that, and then click on restart. Now it's going to restart us into the BIOS, and we can um, begin the process of increasing the uh, memory dedicated for the vram so we're going to want to scroll over to advanced here which so is the second tab scroll down to you see amd cbs right there click on that and then go to where you see and nb io common options click on that and then we're going to go down to gfx configuration and then we'll go scroll down to UMA frame buffer size, click on that. And now we see we have our options. So it's defaulting to three gigabytes originally, and you can go to four gigabytes or eight gigabytes. I really wouldn't suggest um, 16 gigabytes because that's like all the RAM. So that would cause some issues. So just for this test, we will test it with eight gigabytes of VRAM. I know that's a lot because we only have uh, 16 gigabytes of memory, but if you want to be crazy, we can try uh, six, um, eight gigabytes of VRAM. So you just want to save that and exit out of there. Now what we want to do is uh, you have them also keep a plugged in, unplug that, and then we're going to plug it into power. So plug it into power just like that. And this is going to help us get back into uh, the device here. So plug that into power, turn it back on, and we're going to see that it's going to come back on. We'll hear that there. And if you do this and for some reason it's not booting up, make sure you plug it into power um, because I found that it um, needs to be plugged into power to sort of uh, come back to life after that adjustment. So we're coming back to life now. We are back in. Okay, now we're back in. So we'll open up um, AMD Adrenaline here. And we will see that we have eight gigabytes of uh, vram as you can see there 8192 megabytes or eight gigabytes of vram so so yeah now we can play those um harder to run games and those games that won't really run with three gigabytes of vram we can now increase it i would say four is a good place to be so four gigabytes is a good place to be because then you still have 12 gigabytes of ram dedicated for like the system eight gigabytes is really cutting it close with um with modern windows so yeah that's how you upgrade the vram hopefully this helps it is buried in the menu of the bios so it's hard to find hopefully this can help you get to it much easier so yeah peace